Uh, such a nice day, day out here. It is kind of wet though. So. Oh, hi, I'm Noah. <laughs> and did you know that there are dust, there are devils that live in the dust? Check it out. Despite their name, Dust Devil is actually pretty harmless. And, and only on rare occasions does they grow large enough, enough to pose a threat. They're pretty small and weak and and are um, and go up to uh, 45 miles per hour and are less than three di three feet in, in diameter. Now let's take it to Noah to see to see how dust devils form. Thanks, Noah. Now, before I get into how this devil is formed, I want to talk about how big they are, or in this case, how small. If you look here, if you look here, the green one is a is a normal dust devil, and compared to the blue one, the tornado, it is the tornado is so much bigger. But if you look next to it, the orange one is the Mars dust devil. Mars dust devils are just dust devils that form on Mars. Pretty simple. They, but they are so much bigger than the other two. In fact, they are almost as big. They might even be the same size as the Himalaya. Now I will talk. Now I will discuss how um, they form. How dust devils form. Go. Dust devils form when hot air that that's near the surface rises quickly through a small pocket of cool, low-pressure air that's above it. Air. Air may begin to begin to rotate only when the conditions are just right. While the air rises at a rapid pace, the hot air is stretched vertically. This causes the spinning effect to intensify by condensation of angular momentum. The dust devil makes hot air near it. Near it to speed horizontally into the bottom of the dust devil, right into the newly formed forming vortex. More hot air rushes into the state of forming vortex, so it can replace the air that is rising. The spinning effect has now self-sustained and intensified even further, and the dust devil is now is now born. <laughs> Back to you, Noah. Thanks, Noah. That was very interesting to hear about how they form and also to hear about the size of them. Well, that's well, that's the end of this of my science project. Bye.